So as you've probably guessed already, I love manifestation. I would probably uh, still be a manifestation teacher even if many different opportunities <laughs> were available to me. This is my path in life. I have chosen to be somebody that focuses on healing and intuition and creativity. And one thing that I know on my journey and something that I've been looking for in a manifestation journal for years and was never able to find it, so I created it, was a space in a journal to record signs and synchronicities, signs from the universe. And you'll notice in your journal that it is left undated, of course, because signs and synchronicities show up at different times. And so when you have something that arrives on your cosmic doorstep, if you will, you can write it down and record it because this becomes an energetic timestamp on the process of manifesting all of your goals, your dreams, your wishes, and your desires. So I'll give you a little story here. I wrote a book that was released in 2022 called Be The Love, Seven Ways to Unlock Your Heart and Manifest Happiness. Now, this was a highly emotional piece. It was so cathartic. It was like I was clearing out so many different lessons that I had experienced emotionally through relationships, various different connections with people over the course of my 42 years. I'm 43 now. And it was hard to write. It was so hard to write. I went through what felt like crisis after crisis of peeling back different layers of awareness to get to the truth that I needed to write on the pages. This is such a, an extremely difficult task as a writer to not hide anything from the reader, but to be as authentic as possible. I mean, you guys know me <laughs> um, and that's always my intention. So the time that I finished the final draft, the final manuscript after seven or eight different rounds, I'd left my office door open and we were living in Las Vegas. And so my office door um, opened out to a balcony and so the next morning, I closed down my computer, didn't know I'd left my office door open, and I went into my office and there was a hummingbird. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. There was a hummingbird buzzing around or flying around really quickly in my office and then it would perch on the top right-hand corner of my screen. And I thought that was so strange that, I mean, here's the world's fastest little tiny bird, beautiful spiritual meaning of medicine, of healing, of completion. And there it was parking its little butt on the top right hand screen corner of my IMAX screen. And to me, that was such an incredible sign of alignment, of completion, that Be The Love was ready to go out there and it was ready for the next phase of its journey. And I wish back then that I had this journal to write down the exact date so that I could just open it up and record this video and it would have been a whole bunch easier. But whatever shows up for you, whether it is you hear from an old friend that you were just thinking about or you have a specific dream, remember asking the universe for a dream, signs from the universe are the way that you connect to the universe and strengthen your intuition. So make sure you utilize that inside your journal as part of your daily spiritual practice.